This is a tour of Dave & Buster's in Irvine, California. It is one of the world's largest Dave & Buster's and one of the first ones too. So there are two hot shot basketballs over here. And right here is a bobblehead baseball. Jackpot is 710. Uh, here is Kung Fu Panda Dojo Mojo. There's a bunch of super shot basketballs over here. Uh, here's two tons of tickets machines. There's a House of the Dead over there. Uh, there's two Monopolies back to back and two deal or no deals back to back as well. I'm gonna go to the other side, you guys will see. There are two more of them. Here's a Cyclone, it's a very uh, nostalgic game. I'm glad they still have this. Uh, there's an ice cream machine. There's two Lane Masters. Uh, here's the power up station, there's four of those. And check this out, they have Super Monkey Ball here still. That is a very old game, very nostalgic. So there's a lot of older games here, which is really, really cool. There's four of the Superbikes 3s. And over here is four Cruising Blasts. There's four Mario Karts. Right here is a Guitar Hero. And over here is Tomb Raider. Back there is the eating area, the kitchen and the bar and everything. And here's the Snowdown. Here's an Ice Age, uh, Harpoon Lagoon, uh, Fruit Ninja FX2. Here's the Star Wars Beat Saber cabinet. A Basketball Pro. The Minecraft Dungeons Arcade. Here's the Pong 4 player. And over here is Galaga Assault. Here's the Red Cup Challenge. Which most places it's called Sink It. You actually call it Red Cup Challenge here. Uh, here's a Wheel of Fortune. It's a like a cycling game. Not a lot of stores have this, so I'm glad they have it at uh, Irvine. Now here's a Temple Run. And here is Crossy Road. Here is Disney Crossy Road. And over here is Flappy Tickets. Here's the Doodle Jump. And over here is a Centipede Chaos. And right here is Hot Wheels King of the Road. It's a six player one. Over here is the Marvel Contest of Champions card collecting game. It's like, just, it's like Injustice, but it's a Marvel theme. And here's a Yahtzee. Here's an Elevator Action. A Wicked Tuna. World's Largest Pac-Man, uh, Space Invaders Frenzy, there's two spin-in wins. There used to be a few more, but there's only two of them now. These are really, really old. A lot of Dave Musters are kind of phasing them out a little bit. Some of them have gotten rid of them. Uh, here's Treasure Quest. And here is Whack and Win. Here's a Grand Piano Keys over here. Angry Birds Arcade. And they have uh, tipping blocks here. This is pretty rare for Dave and Musters now. A lot of locations have gotten rid of this. But they still have it here, pretty cool. Now, there's another treasure quest. Here's a Crazy Curves. And there's more um, eating area. But I also missed it over here. It's uh, extremely rare, like very rare. It's called Blast Off, which this is like a 90s game. This is like one of the original games that they have here. So extremely rare game. I've only seen it at one other store in my life. And I think this is the only California store that actually has this game. So super, super rare. Glad they still have that. Uh, there's a like fishbowl frenzy, but that's broken right now. It's very spacious in here. That's what I've noticed. It's a lot of room. They made a lot of room in this Dave & Buster's. It's one of the largest ones, like I said. Uh, here's a Jelly Lab, also known as Ticket Jar now. It has the Ticket Jar cards in it. And here is Rampage. Back here is Full Tilt. Standard Full Tilt. Um, here's the Carnival Games. So here's two cold Goldfishings, two Milk Jug Toss, two Down the Clowns. It's a whole row of ski balls. I believe there's seven of them, of the classic ski balls. Um, here is Zombie Snatcher. And over here is Pop the Lock. Right here is a Bling King, but it is broken right now. Over here is Candy Crush, which is uh, the ticket one. So whenever you complete the level, you get to spin the wheel and try to win a jackpot on there. And when you complete all the levels, you win the super bonus jackpot. So it's a very underrated game. I really like it. Here over here is the Spongebob Pineapple Arcade. Here is Angry Birds Coin Crush. And behind that is a claw machine. It's a grab and win one. There's two sides. There's a lot of licensed plush in it too. Looks like they fluffed it up. This is Bob's Burgers. There's some Batman, Tweety Birds, some generics. So overall it's a pretty good um, layout. Really like that. Here's the Jurassic World Jungle Jackpot. Uh, Baseball Pro, uh, Subway Surfers. Uh, Mega Stacker. There's a spin out. 
Uh, Gridiron Blitz, Tutti Fruity. Over here is Blackout. And over here is Dizzy Chicken. I don't know why the bonus shot, or the, the red one, is 50. I don't think it's supposed to be like that. <laughs> Here's a black hole. So I cut the rope, a quick drop. Here's Injustice Arcade. And right here is the pop in and win balloon game. There's another cyclone right there and the winner circle. We'll take a look at that after this. Um, here is Star Trek coin pusher. Here's the Hungry Hungry Hippos game. And here's another very rare game at David Musters. It's Speed Demon. They still have it here. It's again, a very, very old game. I think it's like one of the first games that they got here. So they still have it. And unfortunately it is out of order, but still a very rare and very nostalgic game that's very hard to find now. And here's a bunch of more uh, racing games. Not a lot of ticket games, but there's some more racing games and stuff. So we're gonna start over here. There is Terminator Salvation and the, I believe it's the Aliens or some form of an Aliens game. It's Alien Covenant. Here's the bar in the eating area. Um, over here is a Pac-Man Championship, uh, Dodgeball, the VR, Halo, a Speed of Light, uh, Connect 4, Giant One, Time Crisis 5, Jurassic Park, Star Wars Battle Pod, uh, Raising Storm, I don't see this very often either. There's two Mario and Sonics. There's a very cool photo booth. It's a very old, old style photo booth. And here is the big one claw machine. And this is the, this is like one of the older, older ones. It looks very old. And it still has the old logo up there too. So that is very, very cool. There's uh, four big bass wheels. And here is the very, very hard Simpsons Soccer. That game is almost impossible. Here's Hyper Pitch, uh, Connect Four. There's a Shell Game, Typhoon, Transformers. There's the Jurassic Park that I said. H2 Overdrives, Two Dirty Drivings. Here's the Shell Game. This game is a lot more common than I thought it was. I've seen this at a lot of locations. I thought it was very rare, but apparently it's not. There's Two Snow Cross, Two Batmans, Dark Escape 4D. Here's a Wheel of Fortune game. It's the actual Wheel of Fortune game. Um, here's Luigi's Mansion. Over here is Two Minute Drill. There's two ring tosses. Uh, break the plate. Let's bounce. Telgate toss. Hatchet Hero. DDR. It's right in the front too. There's a lot of people that come and play this. It's one of the more maintained cabinets at David Buster's. Uh, there's an air hockey table over there. And that is basically it, besides that one Cyclone and the Tutti Fruity over there. So that is basically all the games here at David Musters in Irvine. We are going to take a look at the prizes now. Again, like I said, it's a very uh, large location. It definitely has a very good uh, winter circle too. So here's all the plush. They just restocked it, so it looks very organized. There's a lot of Squishmallows, pool tables, there's all the putty and stuff. These are the small prizes. Over here is a wireless stereo, NFTs, uh, projectors, some X-Shots, marble games, some like random claw grabber and a foam ball, some targets, some more like masks and stuff, the fidget box, some more like Space Invaders stuff and Monopoly. This is cool, it's a Legends flashback, they have asteroids and Space Invaders. It's a Atari, it's a helicopters, some game boxes down there for the various TV show games. They're only 1600 too, pretty good. There's a bunch of Pikachus, Sonics, some more Sonic stuff, the world's smallest toys, LOL Surprise, Jurassic World, uh, what is this called? The LOL Surprise Plush, Mystery Among Us, Roblox Mystery, some Pop Figures, Office Bugs, those are really cool. Squid Game. Squeezy teeny mates. It's more like football stuff. Um, here's the case. So we're gonna start down here. There are the Switch starter kits. No more Nintendo Switch. Uh, two Roombas. They used to have the bigger Ember Cups, but they only have the small one right now. There's ring doorbells, Nest thermostats, wireless speakers, a watch, USB charging board, headphones, AirPods Pro, regular AirPods. So. PlayStation starter kits, Xbox starter kits, mini helmets, jerseys, and the Star Wars drones. So overall, very, very stocked. There's a lot of stuff in here. That's very crazy. Here's some more prizes. So the face masks and the 
massage guns, soaps and body lotions, and all the random stuff. It's very unique for David Musters. They have a hand sanitizer for only $350. they are actually really good. I um, mean, some more lights, some more lights and speakers, and novelty stuff, headphones, keyboards. The gaming keyboards are only $1,600. I thought they were way more expensive. Same with the headphones. It's very strange. But David Musters is starting to get the new keyboards. They don't have them here right now. But they have really, really good keyboards coming in soon. There's some more like AirPods case and necklace. Here's the Bobble House exclusive merchandise to a few locations. So I believe there's like around five or ten locations only that have these Bobble House merch. Uh, they aren't doing too well because they are discounted again. But they're very unique. Very cool prize that you don't see very often at an arcade. So they have like shirts, bucket hats, all sort of stuff. Very cool. Uh, here's some more stuff. So here's speakers. It's a bunch of baseballs and the Oculus Quest, which is unavailable right now. Some water bottles. A bunch of water bottles and cups. Air fryer. Some more novelty stuff and blankets. Some more games. Some more games right there. Games down there and then some lights and some LED lights. There's a grilled cheese maker. <laughs> it's funny. Mini pancake maker. And jump ropes and a few other little small knickknacks and lights. So that is very cool. And overall, this is a very good David Musters, very spacious, very large. There's a lot of stuff here. It's one of the largest David Musters, like I said. So this is David Musters here at the Irvine Spectrum. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe if you guys want more arcade videos. And I will see you in the next one.